In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the top five ways you can improve your defense overnight in Man NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be spending a couple of minutes here in practice mode sharing with you the best way that you can get better overnight, the top five ways that you can do that. Um, but if you're new to the channel and you've never checked out any of my videos, what I want to encourage you to do is watch the video all the way through. If it's helpful to you, go ahead and subscribe. But more importantly, join our Discord server. The link is in the description. It's free for you to join. No need to, you know, all you need to do is sign up for Discord. But one of the things I want to tell you is once I get 100 people in the Discord server, I am going to be releasing a Madden 20 free offensive and defensive ebook there for you with my complete offense, my complete defense, with hours and hours and hours of breakdowns that go into deep detail about why I do what I do. So hopefully that's helpful. Let's jump into the video. All right. So the top five ways to improve your defense overnight. The first thing that I'm going to say, the, the, the number five tip that I'm going to give you is to use a three, four based playbook, right? I'm in the Miami Dolphins playbook, but you can, the, the playbook that I really, really like is the, um, the Miami Dolphins are also the Baltimore Ravens and also the Green Bay Packers. I find those to be some of the best playbooks in the game. The second thing that I'm going to encourage you to do is to lab pressure. So for, to run the dime one, four, six, right? The dime one four six pressure, cover two sink, and basically what I want to say is for blitzes this year, you want to QB contain your quarterback. So basically what you do is for any blitz that you're going to run, the blitzer that you want to come in, if he's coming in off the edge, as you can see, I think I, my auto flip thing messed up, but you want to quarterback contain. So let me show you another setup of this. You want to quarterback contain your blitz. That's one of the key steps. Now, again, next year's Madden, I don't know if that'll be the case. They may change it, and if so, we'll have the update, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel for Madden 21 tips. But as you can see here, the QB contain off the edge, and you'll see that I'm going to be able to... I think my blitz angles are getting messed up for some reason. He's not actually containing. But the contain off the edge is critical for success this year if you're going to be blitzing. So you want to make sure to QB contain and then the next tip that I have for you this year uh, in this year's game is to try to user somebody that is not the defensive line. A lot of people really like to user the defensive line, but what I want to recommend to you today is to start recommend or to start usering the guy on the either the linebacker or even better, the safety. But if you can get, like in this Dime 146 package, you can get a linebacker at safety. So here you see Thompson. He's a, he's a, he's a safety, right? He's not a linebacker. So I could set my pressure up, and then I can use her, this guy right here, Thompson. And we know that safeties get a little bit better animations this year, so I can work the middle of the field. When you do that, when you are usering, one of the things that I want to recommend when you're using the linebacker or you're using the safety is to basically play with the psychology of your opponent. So one of the ways that I like to do that, if I'm coming out, and let's just say I'm coming out in, in just a basic coverage, right? Tampa 2, right? And and on offense, I'm coming out in some kind of money play, right? I want to hit um, whatever route it might be. Right. If I'm running this, if I'm running this, what you want to do is you want to kind of think through as on as the user, what can I do? And they're all thinking about the reads of the quarterback. How can I throw his reads off? What can I cover? What? How much ground can I cover? With spread, it's a little bit more difficult because you can't cover as much ground, but you have a lot of other distinct advantages against the spread. For example, you you can get you can cover the whole left side of the field, or you can cover the right side of the field. But what a lot of people like to do in the spread is they like to either throw streaks or they like to throw posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my lurk. Basically, what I like to do is kind of work in a little bit of a circle so at the snap of the ball i'm going to go left and then i'm going to come down to the circle and then i'm going to come down to the drag and as you can see like that basically you want to know your assignment okay so again in, in reverse order here run a three four base playbook use qb contains to blitz the third tip is to user safety, and when you user him, know your assignment. The fourth tip that I want to give you is run defense. Number one, have a run defense. Okay, so you need to practice that. But number two is when you're going up against a run, 
One of the things I want to recommend that you do, and it's not, I don't have a good playbook to show you the run here, run defense here, but it doesn't matter what run defense you end up picking, right? Whether it be 3 through 5 wide, whether it be 3 4 odd, whether it even, it doesn't matter. Whatever defense you're picking, here's what I want to tell you to do. Run defense, very simple this year. Press coverage, shade coverage over top, spy your safeties, bring them down into the box a little bit if you have time, and then use her someone that's not your safety. Use her a linebacker right in here. Again, you can get a linebacker subbed in in all nickel packages. And you'll see those spies will do a really, really good job against the run. They'll come down. So the fourth tip that I have for you is to uh, spy your safeties in the run game. Spy your safeties in the run game and shade coverage over top. That's going to keep it so that you cannot get beat at all. Okay, so as you can see here, spied the safeties, now they come down. It's a little bit better of a run, a way to stop the run than what they would originally, you know, originally have had. The last step, and this is really, really critical, the, the number one way that you can improve your defense overnight in Madden NFL 20 is to run some type uh, is to basically mix up your coverages and make everything look the same. So for example, out of my blitzing defense, what I like to do is I like to set up the cover four drop as an audible. I like to set the Tampa two as an audible. And then I like to set the cover three sky as an audible. And then very, or actually, I'm sorry, the cover two sink. I like the cover two sink and dime one, four, six. So now what I can do is I have multiple different zones and the way that you make your uh, play look the same every single time is you're going to base align, press, right? Slide these guys in. That's going to happen every single time. Now what I get to do once I do this setup right here is now I get to, um, okay, now I get to, you know, change the coverage behind it. So like right here in this situation, I'm going to be running a cover two pressure off the left edge. And as you see here at the snap of the ball, I can use her, and also I know where I'm weak in every single play. But then what I can do is, if he starts to get comfortable with that covered shell, then I could go to something like this, right? And he, he's going to set up, he's going to think it's cover two, but because I'm now running this right here, and this is just the hallmark of every good defense every single year, Do you, can you make your defense look exactly, and I mean exactly the same? Because one little tell can change everything. One little tell can mess everything up. And as you can see here, now I'm in cover four, completely different way to beat cover four than to beat cover two. Then what I can do is I can go to something like this, cover two man, and I can, same kind of thing. It looks exactly the same because I base align and press, right? That's the absolute point of base aligning and pressing. So again, baseline press looks exactly the same, but now I'm in man coverage, and now there's a whole other plethora of things it's going to do. Basically what you're trying to do on defense, especially in pass defense, is you are trying to basically slow down the quarterback's read process to give your guys time to come in. So maybe something like this, right? I'm in cover two, I'm in cover three. And so I'm going to set my pressure up, and the defense flipped it on me for whatever reason, but cover three, right? And snap the ball, go. Now I'm in cover three. Again, coverage shell is completely different. It's beat completely different. You, you know, there's not one play that beats everything, right? And especially if you use or the right player. And knowing where you're weak, all of those things are critical. And then what I really want to tell you with this, when, once you start making every play look the same, and this is where the game really becomes fun, you can then create hybrid coverages. For example, if they're beating you, at the, you can leverage your out of cover four, you can leverage your safeties to cover anyone on the field. So if they're running a lot of uh, post routes, I can cross man. So I can basically hit Y, Y, L1, flick the right stick up to put him in man coverage, and then you can put him on whoever you want. So in this situation, maybe I don't want him to run a post route or whatever. So if they go to something like um, Y corner, maybe they're running slants, right? And they're hitting you over the middle, over the middle, over the middle. Well, now you can cross man. And as you can see, he's going to come right into that play. That safety's going to come right in that play and break it up. So you can do all kinds of different things, but the key is that it stays exactly the same. So in recap, the top five sets for success on defense in Madden NFL 20, the first First one is to use a 3-4 based playbook. I like either the Baltimore Ravens or the Green Bay Packers. My opinion, that's where you're going to find the best pressure this year and you're going to find the best run defense, at least what I've found. The second thing that I want to recommend to you as far as defense is to um, user a safety 
Okay, U user of safety. The third thing I want to recommend you do is to spy your defense in the run game. The fourth thing I want to recommend you do is to use QB contains in the blitzing game. Whenever you're blitzing, mess around with the quarterback contains. I think it helps a lot with the pressure. And then the last thing that I want to make sure to let you know, and this is the most important. This is the one that's going to carry every single Madden. Whatever you do, make your defense look the same every single play. Make your And in this year's game, you might need to go through and say, okay, I'm going to make my pass defense look exactly the same as my run defense or, or whatever. You might not be able to do that. But when you're defending a specific formation, maybe you're defending bunch, maybe you're defending doubles, whatever, remember you're in the one that's in the driver's seat. You're the dictator. As a defensive-minded player, you're – job is to dictate what the offense can do you choose what to give up you don't you don't adjust to them they adjust to you that's one philosophical change in my opinion on the defensive side of the ball and what i mean by that is you want to come out in something and you want that to look the same every single time now if they're busting you with the run you might have to slip into your run defense but again your run defense is going to look exactly the same every single play so that they can't identify especially on the pass this is so critical in the passing game if your defense looks the same every single time they can't tell if you're in a cover two a cover four cover three cover two man cover one they can't tell what you're in and that's going to help you be more successful on defense in Madden 20. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, be sure to join our Discord server. Because